Greetings from Life and Life Ministries. I am Reverend Michelle Young, and we are continuing along in the session that is exposing yoga for Christians is, is just totally unbiblical. I am not speaking to Hindus. I am not speaking to those who are not Christians. This is a message to Christians. If you are practicing yoga or taking part in yoga in any form or fashion, whether you believe you are not chanting while you are doing the physical aspect, you are dabbling in the occult. The fact that Christians are now practicing yoga in increasing numbers is really puzzling in view of the warnings that yogis themselves and former yoga instructors have made concerning the occultic root of, of, of yoga and the dangers, both spiritual and emotional. I want to refer you back to last week's message, and you will find it up on YouTube. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get through everything in this session, but we'll continue anyway. I want you to know that even if you look up on um, on YouTube or you check out um, the internet for yoga for Christians, um, if you Google it, you will get something like 586,000 references, yoga for Christians. Um, and whenever you enter, if you go and you Google Christian churches and yoga, you will get over 500,000 references. Isn't this a shame? Isn't, did Christ not do enough for us? Is it that we now find that it isn't enough, that we have to go now and bring in what is occultic to help us and then begin to Christianize it? Saints is an abomination. Um, I want us to know that there is a lot of interest and a lot of influence of yoga for the Christian. And it is another sign of the apostasy that Christ and Paul and all the other apostles warned that would characterize the last days um, before our Lord's return so that, um, you know, these are things that could cause us to believe we are on a narrow road when the reality of it is we have gone on to the broad road of destruction. Um, yoga, as some are claiming, is a biblical approach to God that they are claiming Christ even taught and practiced in the early church. But um, again, they bring in all these things. I'll tell you these are things that are said. And then they, because of prejudice, it was, um, it was not used again. Um, first of all, the word yoga does not appear not even once in the Bible. And there are no references to yoga made in the word of God. And I will tell you something. A simple understanding of what yoga is, and I spoke um, a bit about it last time, should cause you as a Christian to question why you should be wanting to take part in something that maybe a doctor recommended or a friend recommended when you cannot find any reference to it. And I have to tell you that the, the, the physical positions, the, the, the positions that are taken to, to, to stretch are the positions of the Hindu gods. And there are other ways to stretch the body that Christ created, the temple of the Holy Spirit. Even, Christ, even Hindus um, recognize the error in trying to Christianize yoga. Um, you know, it's, it's Christian yoga has become like a fitness craze. Um, and there are those, um, I can only reference, the, for example, there's um, the Hindu University of America in Orlando, Florida, um, Subhas Tiwari, he has said Hinduism is at yoga's core. You cannot remove Hinduism from yoga. I am not speaking about Hinduism. I am speaking about the Christian has no right to be practicing or taking part in yoga because a Christian is not called to practice Hinduism, which is at the core of yoga. Nothing that yoga, I, I want you to know, um, nothing that yoga offers um, can the Christian claim as something that Christ would want to offer the Christian? Um, it was practiced 3,000 years before the birth of Christ, mostly in India. And um, the you know it's like taking a recipe and altering the ingredients and giving it back 
Um, you're just changing around the ingredients. It's the same recipe. And as I told you all last time, a cake is still a cake, even if you want to call it something else. The total lack of biblical support seems not to trouble us Christians who are practicing yoga. And that is not a good sign. And that went for the visualization and all the other things that I'm going to be speaking about. There is no biblical support. And yet you hear it, whether it is advertised by Christians, led by Christians, we're swallowing it, hook, line, and sinker. It is unbiblical. It is occultic. Um, it is this fact that um, Paul has warned the Christians in the last days. He says here in 1 Timothy 4.1, Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Um, you know what is sad? When the word of God is being preached, and there are those Christians who do not like the fact that it is a different church to their church, they begin to speak the church. But they are not doing anything about occultic things that are being preached to the body of Christ that has nothing to do with the word of God because I am not hearing anybody talking about visualization, yoga, and I'm going to start to name a lot of the other things that I mentioned before um, that are occultic. There is nothing that is being said about it, and it is so simple to get to the root of some of these evils. I want you to know that, um, for example, there have been um, churches and there have been schools that have introduced yoga, and the you know the attitude is just do the exercise. We're not doing the, anything spiritual. I want you to understand. Yoga is a spiritual practice that can be manifested in the natural, by the natural movements. It does not make it any less spiritual. I want you to also know that at the end of the day, it opens the door for the Kundalini spirit to come in that will manifest as counterfeit Holy Spirit. And we will do that in another session. Now, some of you may have heard this in the last session and you're saying, why am I repeating myself? Why? Because we have been warned about the perils of yoga, and yet there are Christians who are still practicing it, still embracing it, and they swell up, swell up when Christians who know the word send a message to them and tell them, do not let your child practice yoga. They get upset. You know, it is as if when we talk what is truth, we are penalized for talking truth. But we will continue to speak the truth. When the time comes and you have to face God, you will know that you were told what the truth is. And you know, the Christian in the end time, when um, he said, you know, I cast out demons in your name. I prophesied in your name. I did great works in your name. And Jesus said, I don't know you. You know why? Because that Christian flooded himself or herself with a spirit that had nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Those gifts come from God. You can choose to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, and he will pour his gifts out upon you. But if you operate under a different spirit, and I can only assume it cannot be the Holy Spirit you're operating under if you are willingly taking part in yoga. We are Life and Life Ministries. You can reach us at 355-5090-225-6055. You will find us on the Facebook and YouTube under Life and Life Ministries. Tuesdays, 45 Anna Street, open air prayer and worship, 4 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. Bible study, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And Fridays, all day, prayer and tarrying. Tarrying with the Lord, being in his presence, allowing him to change the things in us that only he can change, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, you can join us for corporate worship at 4 p.m. 45 Anna Street. So I want to come back here to, um, to, the, to the yoga. What could possibly be wrong with something so beneficial? According to the Bible, Christian spirituality is totally spiritual and has nothing to do with physical exercises. Nor could Christianity have any relationship whatsoever to Hinduism, which in fact is the total opposite to Christianity. So I want you to know that, um, you know, at the end of the day, if something is therapeutic, if something helps you, it does not make it right. We have got to start looking at the word and causing what we want to do. 
to sit under the word so that we can know that this is not to do with God. If you achieve peace through physical exercise, that peace did not come from God because God does not talk about the perfect peace that he gives us does not come through any position that we take physically and in other words as well in the form of Hindu gods, okay? So at, at the end of the day, yes, yoga focuses on Hinduism, Buddhist gods, um, and people argue, well, you could focus on Christ. I want you to know yoga was designed to create union with Hindu deities. It was never designed to focus on Christ. And Paul and the apostles did not infer anything about achieving unity. Union with Jesus Christ cannot be achieved through union with other gods. And this is what those yoga positions are inferring and leading you to. The deceit and danger of the science of yoga. They refer to the science of yoga. There's no such thing as the science of yoga. First of all, as I said last time, yoga was introduced by Lord Krishna and also to, as a sure way to Hindu heaven and Shiva, one of the most feared Hindu deities, I mentioned this last week. He is known as the Lord of yoga. Yoga is Hinduism. Yoga is part of Hinduism. Hearing occasional references to, yoga, to Hinduism while you are doing yoga does not make it any less Hinduism. You are believing that you are buying health. You are, you are, you are going into Hinduism trying to buy your health. If you are a Christian, the body of Christ, God talks about purging you with his blood. He talks about filling you with his spirit. He talks about his fire burning away those things that are not of him in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want, to, I want to pause here and I want to say that all of the positions and the breathing exercises that are specifically designed through yoga to yoke you with Brahman, the universal all of Hinduism, and if the goal is physical fitness, then what you need is an exercise program. You do not need Godhood, which is what yoga is to help you achieve godhood i want you to know in jesus mighty name that if you have entered into yoga as a christian you can repent you can renounce you can begin to ask the lord to renew your mind in the name of jesus so i'm going to pray for you right now father wherever deception has come in where someone has gone into yoga in jesus mighty name i command that kundalini spirit to uncoil and leave and go to the dry places right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command all spirits of deception to leave and go to the pit. Father, where the mind has become bound, Father, through the practice of yoga, God, I renounce on behalf of the people, Father, any union with any Hindu God that has been achieved through the practice of yoga. Father, even where people have not questioned, oh God, where their yoga instructor has trained, God, they have trained under some of these yogis some have even gone to india and come back to trinidad in jesus mighty name i drive out those hindu demons father from christians that have exposed themselves to this form of hinduism in the mighty name of jesus god break open the strongholds i command all hindu spirits to leave father i ask you right now in the mighty name of jesus where there's any cloud of confusion in the mind of the christian god i drive it out father wake up your people you do not need hinduism to help you in jesus mighty name father your life in the life of your people bring them to life in jesus mighty name god bless you father in jesus mighty name cause oh god any questions that they may have to be placed at the foot of the cross in jesus mighty name god bless you